President Trump's Easter message from Mar-a-Lago. The president first tweeting Happy Easter before launching into a tirade, putting the future of nearly 700,000 dreamers in doubt. President Trump erupting over immigration, saying there will be no deal for DACA, attacking Democrats, threatening Mexico, and demanding the border wall. ABC's Tara Paul Mary is in West Palm Beach tonight. President Trump making a rare Sunday appearance with the First Lady. His message on Easter? Slamming the door shut on dreamers. A lot of people are coming in because they want to take advantage of DACA. And we're going to have to really see. They had a great chance. The Democrats blew it. Those comments coming just after Trump unleashed about security on the Mexican border. Tweeting, caravans coming. Republicans must go to nuclear option to pass tough laws now. No more DACA deal. Just an hour before the tweet went out, a story appeared on Fox News about Central Americans marching through Mexico to the U.S. border to shed light on migrants and poverty. They don't think it's illegal to go from one country to another, which is a clear standoff with this president who thinks otherwise. New arrivals can't apply for protection under DACA, a program that protects people brought into the country illegally as children, known as dreamers. The president's newest rejection of DACA marks a series of flips on the highly contentious issue. As a candidate, he was strongly against it. We will immediately terminate President Obama's two illegal executive amnesties. As president, he did rescind DACA, but repeatedly said he was open to a new deal. We are going to deal with DACA with heart. There should be a bill of love. Truly, it should be a bill of love, and we can do that. He wanted border wall funding in exchange for a solution on DACA, but couldn't reach a deal with the Democrats on the details. Build that wall. Build that wall. Build that wall. Who's going to pay for the wall? 100%. Trump's Twitter barrage also taking aim at Mexico, threatening to nix NAFTA, the trade deal between the U.S., Mexico, and Canada. Tweeting, they laugh at our dumb immigration laws. They must stop the big drug and people flows or I will stop their cash cow. NAFTA. Need wall. All right, let's get out to Tara Palmieri. She joins us now from West Palm Beach where the president spent the weekend. And Tara, this latest move by the president seems to threaten any legislative breakthrough. The next step will be a legal battle in the courts. That's right, Tom. The program is still in effect while two federal courts hear the case. Whatever the outcome, it's likely to go to the Supreme Court. And from there, the earliest they can hear the case is October. Tom? Tara Palmieri for us tonight. Tara, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.